Good greetings, I'm Rusty Dog, and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Well, you might be thinking, what's he going to show us today? 787 Dreamliner? Hmm. What about the Cessna Caravan? Maybe. 747 Takeoff? Ooh, that'll be something. No. I'm going to show you giraffes, elephants, and bears. <laughs> Because, why not, right? I mean, it's another feature of the game. It's got nothing to do with flying, really. But you can... These are. It's like me saying I'm going to show you the Apple Tower. You know, it's, it's another feature of the game. So, let's go and have a look at some gorgeous, beautiful elephants. Um, there's not many... Uh, is it, yeah, there's not many animals more beautiful than elephants, really. So, well, there is, but... <laughs> <laughs> Elephants are lovely creatures, is what I'm saying. Um, right, I just need to put the uh, the map. You're probably wondering why the Earth was looking a bit weird. I've taken off a few features. It's going to take off the clouds. If you if you're a weatherman, this might mean something to you. What the weather patterns are doing, but I don't have I don't have uh, you know I don't have to put that on. Like the you know with the wind at ground level, the wind at lower level high level, high altitudes I should say, and low altitudes. I don't know why Friends is off. I haven't got any Friends, but... Airport's on. Do you know, I, I really don't recall turning all of this off. Let's go back here to... Um, I'm going to keep satellite on, I think. Just because it sounds cool. This is an interesting thing, heliport. Does that mean helicopters are coming? Oh, snowy runways. <clears throat> Maybe that's why things weren't showing up in the... Oh, how many dots came on over here? Look at it over here. How many dots came on? Well, may a water runways, grass runways other runways. This might help um, stuff showing up in the North Pole, which wasn't before. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let's stick them all on. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Look how many grass runways there are. Look at France! Just go into France there. Look. Boom! Even the UK. Oh my god! I better leave that off. It's going to get a little bit... Uh, Okay, I want this on. This is Fauna. Um, so what this is... Uh, actually, no, I don't want it on here, do I? Okay, so... Fauna is animals and, and that, so... I think what I need to do is just go back a second and just go into options. Um, there's two ways of looking for animals. Um, the first thing is to... You know, once you're in the sky around where they are, is to have um, the game <clears throat> pointed out to you. And I use the word game advisedly; it's a simulator. But to use uh, to use the the navigation aid provided. The other way is to hunt f for yourself. Now I've got fauna markers on, so it's going to be like a a pinpoint. You know, like you see on maps, it's going to be a pinpoint saying. Here's the animals you're looking for. Um, but if you want to try and fly around and, and find them, uh, then you turn that off and you can find them yourself. But it's still going to show you, you know, roughly where they are. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm going to leave them on for now just to go into the easy uh, mode kind of thing. And back onto the world map. Um, in the filters, I am going to turn them on if they're not already on. I can't remember what, how I left them. Um, so that we can see... I can see a couple of dots turning on just next to Italy here. With just there where my mouse pointer is. Watch, I'm just going to click it on. And there's a little dot that's appeared. So if I... That's a custom one. I don't really want to be there. So let's have a look. Was it this one? Seagulls. That's going to be a difficult one to find. 
geese and seagulls. <laughs> seagulls I can see anywhere. <laughs> I can just go down to the beach. Um, but if we want to find something a bit more interesting, um, what we can do is use the search. Now let's say I want to do elephants. So I'm just going to type in elephant. And here we go, points of interest. So we've got Bugna. We've got elephants in Bugna, which is all the way down here. And we're going to set this as our departure. <laughs> we're going to depart from the elephants, uh, but we will be in the air. So the game will actually start right, right there. Um, I'm going to leave... Uh, this must be the time of day where it is here at the moment. And you can see by the sky, it's, the sun's going down a little But So I guess the best aircraft to use would be that little icon. Uh, just because of visuals, uh, you can see we've got a pretty good view outside there. And it's a slow-moving plane, which is a good thing. Not that it matters. I mean, we've got active paws, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but let's go with this one. Um, okay, so we can close that out. So we've got the little icon, and we're going to depart from Bugner Elephants Airport. <laughs> and we're going to go over to Seagulls. No, we're not. Uh, I don't know where the nearest next fauna would be. I, su uh, I suppose maybe this one. Oh, how brilliant. Can you imagine going there? Why don't we? Let's set as a arrival. I don't know how long that would take. Half an hour. It'd probably be easier to set up another flight from there. Um, where in the world are we, actually? Oh, well. Okay, so this is kind of East Africa, then. This should be interesting. Let's go. So, we're going to start off with um, heffalumps and go on to giraffes. Both equally gorgeous, beautiful animals. I feel so sorry for elephants in this world. They're treated so badly by us. Um, spe as a species, I mean. I'm not treating them badly. But they're such loving creatures and they're family-oriented. But this pathetic demand for ivory means that they have to... Anyway, I'm not going to get, you know... Okay, so here we are <laughs> in the in the sky. So I'm just going to hit ready to fly because I am. And I'm just going to hit pause. Now then, if we take the drone out, can we see them already? Oh no, they're over there. So you see now, that marker is pointing them out to me. Instead of me having to look for them, it's literally pointing them out to me. Um, because... Um, I wanted the marker on, otherwise I'd have to find them. Now you'll notice if you're eagle-eyed that the marker is actually moving. Let me just turn this down a, a tad, the volume. So you'll notice the marker is moving, and that's because when I'm pausing, the only thing I'm pausing in the game is my plane. Everything else is still moving. Day and night cycle is still going, the elephants are still moving, um, everything is still, everything else is still on the go. So there's the elephants. They are on the move. Oh, I can't wait to see these. Uh, let's get back in. And what I'm going to do, I've got so much airspeed, I'm going to throttle down. I love elephants. They're just the most beautiful. I want to see like a little herd of them on the move. There they are. There they are. So what we'll do, I'm not going to kill any of them, obviously. So we're just going to pause it there. Now I'm going to get the drone out. Um, and I'm going to move the drone. I'm just going to need to increase the speed. I wish I, I, wish I could uh, make this the default speed. Even 100% is, is a good speed to go at. I'm going to choose 70, and we're going to go down. Whoops, that is a bit quick, isn't it? Uh, it's just because last time I was using it on 100%, but I was covering quite a wide area. 
let's go down to 40 and do that uh, now let's slow that down a little bit see if we can make do with that so these elephants are still on the move where are they there they are look at these beautiful creatures hello look at the animations on this guys come on like <laughs> it's a flight simulator it's not <laughs> a natural history sim hey guys hello hello oh that gorgeous hey look 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 at the texture definition and the animation and the fact that they're kind of you know the ground is all slanty and they're sticking to it that like it's not like their legs are floating off the ground that much how beautiful how beautiful I'd like to hear one of them just <laughs> whatever whatever noise that they make there's another one going by absolutely gorgeous creatures any baby elephants I think they're all around the, are they all around the same size normally the baby elephant is hanging behind the the mother how beautiful so I know I've said I've re I'm repeating myself but they are I love elephants um, okay so apparently it's uh, 30 minutes to get to the or 34 minutes I think it was to get to the giraffes but because it's not a flight thing I wonder is it this way is that the one the 40 49 nautical miles because it doesn't show it it doesn't show it here on the map or anything unless it does I don't think so but let's let's unpause the game and see where this is gonna take us Ah, oh, no this is just an, a point of interest like a mountain yeah you can see by the icon um, so pressed the wrong button there didn't I yep that's not the button I wanted so I'm currently on minimum throttle at the moment and my airspeed is dropping so uh, what I like about this is because the elephants are moving the the marker there is constantly going to be on the move as well because they're, they're heading over to I don't know maybe a water hole or something I'm quite low on the ground here I, I'm, I may want to uh... oops oh wow I actually smacked into a tree and it didn't just crash it literally bounced off the tree I need some more airspeed guys it bounced off the tree that's a new one well, it might be a bit too late I think I'm gonna crash <laughs> for that little plane it's ridiculous I should have been able to control that all right Let's have a look at those um, giraffes. So into the world map we go. And uh, well, if we type in giraffe, the Blue Nile, Meshesha Wen uh, Wentz, Darwin, the Blue Nile. Let's go there set as departure this is a quick way to see them obviously you can pick an airport nearby or an airstrip take off from there and fly over to them if you wish um, it's completely up to you so let's go and do that this is where a helicopter would be nice one of those with those glass fully glass fronts you know so you can really see all around you you can look down and and see downwards not straight down I mean down like out the door the helicopter that they used to have in Skippy 
<laughs> Skippy the bush kangaroo. You know the ones. The full, well, all the all the cab, all the front was just pretty much glass, except for the floor. Even the doors were glass. Uh, okay, so I am ready to fly. I am indeed. Nice looking plane, this, and it'll land anywhere. This thing, it's it's great. All right, so here we have some giraffes on the Blue Nile. I wonder if I turned everything up to ultra now, how much better this would look. So I'm just going to pass over them and then just pause the game like this. So th like I said, this is, this is the quick way to do it. We're going to go into drone and I think the drone speed has been reset back to as it was. Let's take a look at these. There they are. And they're all on the move as well. Yep, typical, just like the elephants though, they're all going the same way. And it's like, it's like Jurassic World at the moment. Let's take a look at this guy. And again, better animation than you may expect in a flight simulator. But it's there. Oh, we've got, we've got some coming our way. Maybe that maybe they've uh, seen the camera and they want to be on film. I could do my day without them, now, couldn't I? Here at the Blue Nile is a, oh oh oh. We're getting a bit uh, too close for comfort. I don't want to disturb them. <laughs> oh, go away, my altimeter. Sorry. It's getting spoiled by that. I can't adjust the altimeter while I'm down here with the drone, I don't think. What a great idea to implement the drone, though. You know, I mean, Microsoft probably knew and realized that we would be, you know, wanting to check out uh, the graphics and the landscapes and, you know, stuff like that. So they've given us the opportunity to do so by just having a drone and... It's brilliant. It's been very well thought out, this game. Very, very well thought out. I can't fault it on that. They kind of are all moving in different directions. So I think this, I think what, the, what it is is that they have to stick to an area. Because they can't just keep walking in the same direction for miles and miles and miles. They'll, you know, they'll end up somewhere in Russia or something. <laughs> we can't do that. So they just, they yeah, they, they walk a certain way. I feel like I'm walking with them at the moment. And then they can just turn and go another way. And so they're kind of just probably walking in circles. Ooh, I don't want to disappear up there. So there's your giraffes. Okay. Let's get the drone back to the plane. And I think the best way to do that is by clicking on the camera and hit reset position. And then we can go back up and unpause, which for some reason the unpause doesn't work from here. So I'm going to reset my, um, I'm going to reset my altimeter and my heading indicator so that it doesn't have to whinge at me anymore. Let's take a little look round here. I'll tell you what I wouldn't mind flying over, but I don't know how accurate they have it. And that would be um, Yosemite National Park. That would be, that would be incredible. I, I found my house yesterday. It wasn't very accurately depicted, because where I live, all the houses kind of look very similar-ish. Um, but in... <laughs> In this, when they drew each building, um, each house looked completely different. Of course, it was auto-generated scenery, but I, I had to follow it by comparing a, a certain, like, if you want to call it a landmark, a land feature um, on Google Maps compared to, I probably should have used Bing Maps, compared to what I was looking at on the, on, on the game here with the drone. And I found um, a small airfield nearby 
and a, a, and a field which had a very strange like bendy shape and I found that on Google Maps and then I was able to I plotted a route uh, using um, like the sat nav part of Google Maps where you can plot a route where you walk and it shows you the walking how, how you walk home and I just basically followed that route on Google Maps while at the same time following it on the drone in in the game and it took me right to my house so yeah it was kind of cool all right so let's come out of here and we'll just end that I'm interested in seeing the bears I haven't seen the bears yet uh, and the geese will be interesting <coughs> the geese you see at the beginning of the of the game when you when it loads when the game loads up and it says press any key to start if you don't press the key to start and you watch the cinematic uh, movie as it were then you'll see a plane flying over some some geese and they, they've got a great shot of it so if we type in oh this is going to be a lot of results here I think bears there we go so we, grizzly bears and black bears well let's have a look at grizzly bears now I don't know where this is in the world I'm going to have to go to daytime to find out, I suppose. Oh, right up there. Oh, wow. Okay. I say up there because it's all snowy. So we've got grizzly bears and seagulls. It, they look close, but I don't know what distance I'm at. So if I'm, I'm going to set the departure as grizzly bears. And I'm going to set the seagulls as arrival. So that's 29 minutes, though. Yeah, I, again, I may have to do this as separate. But that's McNeil Cove. Seagulls are not that big. I mean, it, I don't suppose you've got penguins, right? <laughs> no. I wonder what other animals they do have. Penguins would have been nice up in the North Pole there or South Pole or wherever they go. Well, I can't remember where penguins are actually. Um, polar bears would have been really nice. Lions? No, it would it would come under points of interest. It would be under points of interest. Uh, but you can type anything in here, even even coordinates, um, which will give you a custom waypoint. But it doesn't it doesn't plot you a line to fly there, unfortunately. So you kind of have to, you know, deal with it because you you can't refer back to this map once you're in the game either that I know of. But you can type in coordinates, and it'll create a waypoint called custom. Uh, and I know I said. Uh, on my stream that you can't have custom waypoints when well, you can but you just when you go into your plane obviously on the on the screen there's not a line drawn between the two unless maybe I, I set one as a departure or something hmm. I'm gonna have to have a look at that in another video uh, and this So this is instrument flight readings and this is uh, visual. So at least from what little I know. I, if I'm wrong on anything when I'm going through my videos, guys, please, please uh, leave a comment and, and correct me um, because I am very, very willing to learn um, anything really when it comes to this. So uh, yeah, I'm really up for it. What if I just type in fauna? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have geese, seagulls, grizzly bears, elephants, giraffes, black bears, flamingos. That's, okay, that's what's shown on the video at the beginning, not geese. It's flamingos. Be nice to see some more variation. I'd like to see polar bears and penguins. Polar bears deserve deserve a little uh, they, they get a hard time in life they deserve <laughs> they deserve a look in come on let's give them a name check here 
um, and lions. You know, all the safari animals and stuff. Uh, just, just to see a lion and zebras. Just to see them, you know, maybe a lion running and eating a zebra or something. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. To, let's go and see the grizzly bears. So it puts you about a nautical mile away or so, from what I can tell. <laughs> it's just the, here's this here's this brand new sim come out, and it's just an amazing feat of programming. And you know you can you've got a f like full satellite one to one view of the world, and you can go anywhere and see anything with amazing accuracy. Um, this is this is the flight sim that we used to dream of back way back when when we used to look at you know even flight sim x or further back and we'd think what if one day they could accurately map every building on the world in the world i say accurately i mean some buildings are bang on accurate some of them you know the buildings are there but they might not look quite as they're supposed to but you you know what i mean right and i think i think microsoft flight simulator has done that now they've They've really achieved what we thought was, and maybe not not impossible, but, you know, the fact that we're at a level now where you can more than likely go and see your own house, you know, it might not be accurately depicted. Some are, some aren't. If you live in America or in a, in a somewhere, maybe like New York or something, you, your house is probably depicted there really accurately. But maybe in a place that's outside of the States, like if you've got a house uh, in Russia or something, it might be there, but it will look nothing like your house, but yet the building could still be there. But to be at that level already, it's just, it's phenomenal. Uh, and of course, they're using uh, satellite imagery, satellite maps and stuff, which makes perfect sense i just wonder if every now and again when the sat satellite maps update and they do they take later and uh, more recent maps whether that will be reflected back into the game um, and it'll be re-updated in the game look at this look at the detail here oh my god okay so me and i haven't got a name for my co-pilot uh, uh I don't know. Julie. Hey, Julie. <laughs> so, 1.2 nautical miles out this time as we engage the unpause button. Now, these these guys are going to be... Oh, they're quite out in the open as well. I wonder if we can land near them. I don't, I don't want to... I, I don't even want to be seen in the game to look like I'm going to run over anything. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Here we go. I was wondering when they were going to get drawn in. Yeah, I'm going to pause this because it looks like I'm going to end up in a tree. Looks like I'm going to be crashing very soon after this. All right, drone, up you go. So we are in Chinitna. Chinitna, is that right? Chin Chinitna, Chinitna Bay. And we're looking at grizzlies. I don't want to get too close. I don't fancy getting... Uh, I don't fancy becoming their dinner, if I'm honest. So we'll go a bit further up. And let's have a look at these uh, uh, animals. Man. <laughs> the way that they have to carry that... It looks like they're having to really struggle to carry their own weight. But they've got some mighty strong legs, though. Oh, you and your heading indicator. See, you might want to take off some of these markers, like these, um, if you're a screenshot freak. Because it's just going to get in the way sometimes. See, that's going to just stay there. It would be nice if there was a screenshot feature in the game, or a photo feature or something, where... You know, it could take a screenshot of this screen right now, but it wouldn't it wouldn't include the markers. 
Something like that. A nice little screenshot. I'm surprised they don't have a screenshot mode because... Yeah, well, I suppose a lot of the ardent players who are going to be playing this are going to be doing things like flying planes rather than taking screenshots. So there is your grizzly bears. This is probably a safe distance to be. Yes, just so happens it's another animal that people decide to shoot just for fun. Just can't leave them alone. Right, and there is the uh, the plane, so let's go over there. Incorrect headings. I'm going to see if I can abort my landing. So I'm just trying to get used to the controls. I've got the flaps down, I've got the wheels down. Uh, I need to be further back and pointing a bit down. So I want to be somewhere, I could just reset position really if I wanted to. There we go, that'll do. So yeah, the, gri Ooh, the grizzly bears are coming my way now. So back into the plane, unpause, uh, flaps and gears and power. And now I'll think about resetting the heading. Purple Mountains. We're not in Canada, are we? I really don't know where we are in the world, I'll be honest. I'll have to look up Chinitna Bay and find out <laughs> where the hell that is. The reflection on the side window there of my dials. Sometimes I get quite impressed with um, attention to detail in games. I, you find things like even Grand Theft Auto, for example, four and five the amount of detail that was in those games you know like when the wind got up in the in Grand Theft Auto 4 you'd see newspapers flying around the streets and stuff you know well paper okay very interested to see flamingos we've seen the giraffes and the elephants and the and the the grizzly bears. I think the I, I think the, the the black bears is probably going to be very similar. They're probably going to use the same model for that one. I I don't know. Maybe maybe not. So we want we've got flamingo airfield. We don't want to get that one. We have to make sure we got a point of interest here. Uh, so O'Higgins, Lego, Argentino. Where are we, by the way? Oh, is this, is it Alaska or something? Forgive my geography. I don't know which, see this, that's South America, right? And that's America. Then you've got Canada up here. Is that Alaska here? Or is that the North Pole? Why is my geography so bad? It normally isn't. It normally really isn't that bad, honestly. Uh, so... Let's go back here again. I'm going to have to remove the last letter. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at this one. This is, yeah, down in Argentina. That would <laughs> make sense. So we'll set that as a departure. I hope they're not going to fly too fast. I don't have an arrival. We'll just, we'll just, no pun intended. We'll just wing it. Um, this, the Pipistrel, also looks like it's got a pretty decent view out the window but look at this front window here you got a really nice view out but this one's got some big glass doors on the side so it probably affords a slightly better view out uh, sideways than it does in that other little plane that Cessna citation I've got to take that out one day that little yellow one looks good. Oh, what about what about the little the little red biplane? No, that's a terrible <laughs> terrible view out of there. Um, 
Now the diamond here looks like we get a fairly decent view out the cockpit as well. Yeah, there's another diamond. It, it, yeah, it does look good. And this one as well. This one. Looks like we get a really good view out the side windows. But mm, perhaps not so much out of the front there. Let's try the Pipistral. I don't think I've ever flown this thing. Let's try that. I mean, to be fair, we used the drone to go and see the animals anyway, but it'd be nice to have something that's, you know, a fairly slow plane, and we can just circle around and just check it out. Um, yeah. Oh, this is nice. I'd like to know where, where this is. They should have put a, some text on the screen here to let us know where about this was. It's going straight, all the snow in the background there, and then you've got all the greenery here, and that transition from green to white, as it were. It looks very nice. Yeah, you've got a really nice view out the side window. I mean, you've got all the side available. Wow. All right, so there are the uh, flamingos. Now, I can see out the side very well, <laughs> but my front may be a little bit compromised, so I'm going to press space so I can just look up. So we're, we're actually looking for uh, flamingos. I'm pretty... Sure, they're going to be flying. They're not going to be all on the ground with one leg in the air. There they go. Woohoo! Oh, now the thing is, I can't get a screenshot, guys, because I didn't. You see, there's a pause and there's an active pause. And I wanted to do a pause to get a screenshot, but of course, with active pause, the whole world carries on. Um, yeah, the electrical systems must be turned on. Why aren't they? All right, so what I'm going to do here is just pop to here, go to controls. And I'm going to go to all because I'm not sure it's already assigned. And I'm going to search for pause. So active pause. Um, it says it's not mapped or toggle pause. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, the, the pause button on your keyboard, the pause break, will do an active pause. So, oh, it's using the controller. Okay, so let's go to keyboard. Okay, so pause is pause and escape is... That's not the right pause I want. I don't want pause like going to the menu kind of pause. So if it's pause, I'm sorry, if active pause is pause, <laughs> then to set the pause on, I want to do shift pause. Okay, can I validate that to make sure it's not being used? Uh, and enter a name for this. Okay, so we'll call it um, Rusty Profile keys okay and then on pause off I'm going to do control and pause oh no it's not letting me do that okay it's not letting me do that okay what about alt pause okay there we go alt pause so just hitting the pause button alone is active pause shift pause is pause pause and to remove that pause, it's alt pause. Honestly, I, you could go into a you could go into a dog pound, and that you wouldn't count as many pause as I've said pause just now. What I'm hoping though is that this pause doesn't bring up any menus; it just pauses the entire world. I don't know if it's going to do that. If I'm honest, I don't know. I'm going to find out though. So let's remove active pause. There you go. 
Now, of course, the water's still moving. So I have to alt pause to come out of this, right? Oh, actually, active active pause came out of that. Yeah, I I wanted a I wanted a pause where I could just pause pause the flamingos is what I wanted to do. But they're flying off. They've got a much bigger circle of where they can go than the elephants have got. And now I've got to catch up with them. Like half a mile away already. Oh, here we go. They've turned. No, they're still moving. It's the same as active pause. Uh, okay, how do we do this? Well... Oh! I was going way too quickly though, wasn't I really? Yeah, I'm, probably, I'm putting too much stress on the plane now. Not really bothered. There they go. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can take a look at these guys. <laughs> it's so difficult. In my plane, they've even got shadows in the in the water. Look, there they go. very hard to keep up with and I'm I have to say I'm actually quite disappointed with the um, I'm actually quite disappointed with the fact that even though there is a difference between um, it's assigned now so I can type it in even though there is a difference between um, a pause and an active pause it doesn't seem to make unless maybe it's not it's not taking any notice of the qualifier keys and maybe I should set something else so if I say for example I don't know whether P is in use for anything but I can validate that and then to pause off I'll try O okay do you want to bind it anyway no I do not uh, let's go to the Let's go underneath to the colon. You are trying to assign an action to a device that is not selected. I don't know what that means, but I'll take I'll accept it. Okay, so open bracket, which is the one next to the P. All right, so P for pause, pause. So which means we're not even touching the pause key for active pause. Oh my god. <coughs> I mean, how many times can you say pause in, in, in one go? So if I press P now, it should pause the game. But what I don't want is a menu coming up or any such thing like that. I just want... Wow, that's a nice view, isn't it? Whoa, check that out. Let's do an active pause here. And check... check. Look at that view. I, I want to build a house just somewhere... Somewhere the... Oh wow, this is Argentina. <laughs> the flamingos are over there. That's a gorgeous view from there. Imagine waking up in the morning and opening your curtains every morning and that's your view out the window. Jeez. I'll take that. Uh, right, let's get back in the old uh, plane and uh, I quite like this plane actually, the, 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 the in interior looks really cool. It's very plane-like, <laughs> which all planes are. But no, I like I like the big curvy dash, it like, reminds me of a car. Well, mine, okay. Uh, there's the flamingos. Now we're going to need to lose a bit of height and possibly a bit of speed. Scratches on the window, look. Wow. 
these guys have gone into detail that they really didn't have to. So we're going to try and just do a pause this time. What's that? What's this? What's this? Are these just trees? Right, pause now. No, they're still moving. It's the same as active pause. Well, what's the point of that? Why do we have two separate pauses? You can't stop the animals, guys. So there's two keys I don't need to assign. I thought there was animals drink drinking out of the water. Now that would have impressed me. I don't know where the flamingos have gone. Um, let me just pause a second. Okay. I wasn't sure whether I had wheels or not, or whether I had to <laughs> bring them down. Um, I'm not saying I can, I can land here, but I don't see why not. That's a car running across there. So once this gets below a certain speed, it will just fall out of the sky. There we go. I'm not going to put the brakes on quite yet. I just want this to run a little. So yeah, just coming here to see the um, flamingos puts you in a spot which gives you an amazing view out the window. Should have brought the seaplane for this one. Is it a seaplane? I mean, it can land on water, but I probably wouldn't class it as a seaplane. I wouldn't cross the Atlantic in it, let's put it that way. I want to land in the middle of the Atlantic with it. Okay, brakes on now, brakes on now. <laughs> Cut the engine. So, there we go. We've seen the animals. Uh, I hope. It hasn't been too much of a spoiler for you, but... Doesn't the water look good? But yeah, but the choice of watching the video was yours. You saw the title, so... <laughs> don't blame me. No, it's beautiful though. I don't know where my plane is. I'll have to reset the position of this. Oh, is there it is. So... Again, it's just a, another impressive feature of the game. Um, a animals are not... I mean, you know, would we have been okay if the animals had been there but just static objects and not moving? Um, but they do move, and not just that, though. They're animated really, really well. The elephants are animated beautifully. So are the giraffes. Um... Whoever lives there, I want to buy your house. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Argentina. Wow. I, hey, guys, just back before we go, I want to see what this looks like when the sun goes down. Now, it's going over there. Okay, let's move this over here. So, the west is clearly that side. Oh, man, come on. Like, this is your view at night. You can stop these messages popping up on screen, I'm pretty sure. But for me at the moment, at the level I'm at, uh, it's probably a good idea for me to keep them on. See, even that, even that looks nice now that the sun's just disappeared there. Oh, it's very dark here, but it's what I was expecting. There's, the only lights are from <coughs> the little pinpricks in the, in the sky, uh, that being the stars, and of course that, that lucky person's house over there. Uh, let's go back over to more of a morning setting. 
Yeah, I mean, just even like 11 o'clock in the morning here, this looks beautiful. <coughs> okay, there we go. That is the animals. Um, and I hope you enjoy the game if you are an owner of it. And if you're not, I hope you're enjoying the videos. And <coughs> I will be back with more. Bye-bye for now.